No one who knew Alan Neyman could have guessed he had a lust fortune. The frugal social worker bought his clothes at Costco, cut coupons and liked to take thrifty road trips for his holidays. But when he left the $11 M8, 7 meter, to local charities, friends say they were not surprised by his generosity. Neyman died in January 20th, 18 of cancer at age 63 in Seattle, Washington. I think everyone was shocked, I mean really shocked, that he had so much money to give away, says his friend Mary Monahan, who worked with Neyman at Washington State Children's Services, soon after being diagnosed with cancer. He told her that he would donate everything he had to charity upon his death. People will be surprised at the amount. She recalls him saying, Yeah, people were I am sure very surprised. She owed the BBC. Neyman left a lucrative banking career to work with children 30 years ago. Miss Monahan believes his experiences working with children in social services, many of whom had disabilities inspired him to put others first. I guess he thought he had what he needed, and a lot of other people did not have what they needed. She says, the kids that came into care got into Alan's heart. Neyman inherited some of his wealth from his parents, but he also saved and invested most of his earnings throughout his life. Miss Monahan says he worked two or three jobs and hated to have that. Six local organizations were recipients of his legacy, including Child Haven, Little Bit Therapeutic Riding Center, Make Wish Alaska on the Washington, Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, Tree House on the West Side Baby, Jesse Coleman, Chief Development Officer for Tree House, had spoken to Neyman for the first time a few months before he died, when he donated $5. 000 to the organization that helps children in foster care graduate high school. Miss Coleman says the average gift to the organization is a couple hundred dollars. That's a big deal for us. We were even surprised by that, she says. But when they found out that Neyman had left to house $900,000 in his will, they were truly shocked. Once the number had sunk in, Miss Coleman said the staff found volunteers with the organization were really struck by his story and how he had lived so fruitfully so that he could give his wealth to others. Our organization was just overcome with that kindness and that love. I do not want the number to outweigh the experience of being a part of this. That was really about the way he wanted to leave the world. The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group al Shabak being six airstrikes in Somalia. Four airstrikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28. It said in a statement, These were the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of air strikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in air strikes. Since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined, the latest strikes bring to at least 40 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 20, 17 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since 18 special 
forces soldiers and fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu. In 1993, a battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the later air strikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government. The United States military said, alongside our Somali and international partners, we are committed to preventing Al-Shabaab from taking advantage of safe heavens from which they can build capacity and attack the people of Somalia. The United States Africa Command said, Al-Shabaab, which is linked to Al-Qaeda, has not yet commented on the latest strikes. Somalia-based security think tank the Higher Institute said in a report published in November that Al-Shabaab had been forced to change tactics following the upsurge in air strikes. The institute said the group was now conducting fewer mass attacks on military bases, but attacks on government offices and businesses which refused to pay. It taxes had increased markedly. The United States State Department, in its most recent report on terrorism, described Somalia as a terrorist safe haven and said Al Shabaab remained a threat despite suffering setbacks. The group retained control over large parts of the country and the ability to carry out high-profile attacks using suicide bombers, explosive devices, mortars, and small arms. The report added, two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths. The Interior Ministry statement said, two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths, the interior ministry statement said. The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab being six air strikes in Somalia. Four air strikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28. It said in a statement, this were the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of air strikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in air strikes. Since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined, the latest strikes bring to at least far to the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since 18 special forces soldiers and fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu in 1993. A battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the latest air strikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government. The United States military said, alongside our Somali and international partners, 
we are committed to preventing Al-Shabaab from taking advantage of safe heavens from which they can build capacity and attack the people of Somalia, the United States Africa Command said. Al-Shabaab, which is linked to Al-Qaeda, has not yet commented on the latest strikes. Somalia-based security think tank the Higher Al Institute said in a report published in November that Al-Shabaab had been forced to change tactics following the upsurge in air strikes. The institute said the group was now conducting fewer mass attacks on military bases, but attacks on government offices and businesses which refused to pay. It taxes had increased markedly. The United States State Department, in its most recent report on terrorism, described Somalia as a terrorist safe haven and said Al-Shabaab remained a threat. Despite suffering setbacks, the group retained control over large parts of the country and the ability to carry out high-profile attacks using suicide bombers, explosive devices, mortars, and small arms, the report added. The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab being six airstrikes in Somalia.